Hello everybody, welcome to episode 6 of the Joel Hamish Show series, Artistic Tuesday. everybody, I'm Joel Homie, your guys' host for another great episode of the Joel Homie Show series, Artistic Tuesday, episode 6. Now, today's episode is going to be revolving around another mini-series that I created a while back called Train Mania. If you don't know what the series is, it is where I take a bunch of my train collection or anything related to trains with things like track and anything like that, and I set it up on the floor or in the essence of what is going to be coming out soon, where I set it up outside. And now this episode is going to be coming out right before that, so I'm going to take that opportunity to do something similar to the 200 subscriber special and the episode of Artistic Tuesday that came out right before that, where I do something related to the next episode of that series. So and since the third episode of this series is going to be coming out right after this, I wanted to do something related to it. So today is an episode is going to be all about me actually designing and drawing out a little logo for that series, of course, with some nice chains, like looking like they're pulling in the words and things like that. And hopefully, if I get lucky, I may be able to use it in the thumbnail of that video that will be coming out on Wednesday, the 20th of May, 2020. So if you're watching this in the future, none of this would have really mattered too much uh, or what I just said. But if you're watching this when it comes out, stay tuned for that great episode because it did take quite a bit of effort to make. So with enough of me talking, let's go ahead and get into a nice time lapse of it making and drawing out this logo. then welcome back everybody i hope you guys enjoyed that short little uh, time lapse on me sketching out this sort of logo and motion blur mess thing that and that's that this thing ended up being because as you can see i tried my best to get a bunch of hatching and motion blur in there to show that it was going fast with the locomotives pulling it in but with that on the subject of these locomotives it did get the main idea across with the train mania and then the locomotives pulling in the text with obviously a roughly based um, GP30 and GP35 class of diesel locomotive pulling into the train and then one of these sort of older type western steam locomotives that you would have seen like back when the cross continental railroad was being constructed if you know what I'm talking about um, and that's pulling in the mania obviously and then um, up here I did try to get as much detailing in as I could as well as a bunch of stibling for the ballast for the track up here and maybe a uh, you can kind of call that hatching, I guess. Maybe a little bit of messy, not intended cross hatching. Maybe, I'm not really sure. But up here, I did get a bit more room, so I tried my best to get the rails up there, sort of um, starting straight and sort of getting a little bit more wavy as you move further away from the locomotive and more into the text sort of area. And as you can see, it's sort of poorly executed, but I did try to show that the locomotives are going fast with the motion blur. But it, to show that they were going fast, I sort of... Uh, poorly executed the essence that they are going so fast that they are slowly just fading into lines and you can still clearly see a sort of cutoff right there which is why I say it's poorly executed but I tried to show that the locomotive was sort of blending in with the text as it was going fast and it sort of just turned into a weird line being sort of meshed right next to the end of the locomotive picture right there actually technically speaking that's not a picture it's a drawing but whatever and then moving down here obviously you have the steam locomotive which is supposed to be loosely based off obviously a western locomotive from back when things like the cross-country Railroad was being built as i had mentioned earlier 
but both of these I tried to fit in as much detailing as I could within the space that I was given or that I was giving myself rather with uh, but a little bit of rivet detailing got some vents and once again this is supposed to be based off two different classes of the locomotive so this wheel would have come off things like the GP30 locomotive and then things like this sort of overhang type thing up here would have actually come from the GP35 and then uh, some things that, that would be the same on both such as this drive wheel bogey I think I actually got down pretty well and then obviously got some hatching to show the motion blur on the, on the locomotive as well got the grab irons and the coupler um, MU hoses back there or up there rather and then with the steam locomotive obviously it's too old to have things like MU hoses in this type of age that I was going for so instead you just have the things that would casually be on a steam locomotive like you got the drive wheels, the rods running into the pistons, and then the boiler, once again, trying to show some of that motion blur. Got some of the strings or some of the ropes going back to the cabin that would have been able to control the bell as well as the whistle right there on top of a dome. And then this funnel is actually supposed to be loosely based on things like the steam locomotive from the Lego Disney train set. Mickey is just falling out of locomotive. But I did recently finish this, so I was trying to base it off of this sort of Shea type funnel, which if you don't know what a Shea is, is a, a style of steam locomotive that was designed to be extremely strong to haul logs and stuff like that up mountains and things, which is where I was trying to go with that funnel design. But yeah, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse and the overall video. I definitely enjoyed it, d or drying out this whole entire thing. Hopefully, I will be able to incorporate this into the thumbnail for tomorrow's Train Mania episode. But with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, 